Grand Rising Family, welcome to your Thursday the 11th True Love Journey Daily Message. Family, how is, how is everyone doing? How is everyone feeling post-eclipse? Um, I've been spending most of the day in meditation and I'm feeling really good. Um, that meditation with Archangel Shamuel that I posted on the community board, game changer, life changer. Um, I'm feeling more and more love in my heart more and more uh in like intense feelings of love that is uh in, like an outpouring like an overflow of love so um i've also did the let go affirmations the perfectionism affirmations root chakra meditation as well what else felt like i did and I, I felt like i did another one um I, I don't remember it's been and and uh and i finally in the let go one closer to the end of it it's the first time in a long time that i did that meditation that close to the end i felt myself like truly surrender let go and relax and um i just kind of just wanted to sit there and just stay there and then i immediately hopped onto the root chakra one which was really nice so definitely recommend that for you guys. It was wonderful. Um, <clears throat> I'm still going to use this deck. I'm still going to use this deck that we used yesterday. I've been connecting with it. And I'm just really enjoying it. And then, uh, so I want to continue on with it to, for today, for today's message. I already said my prayer. So let's just get started. I want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, for donating to the channel, for ascending decks. I want to thank A. Wit for your donation. May you continue to always be blessed. Thank you for the energy exchange. Thank you for the love donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May you uh, receive tenfold infinity and beyond all that you give. Um, God bless you so much. Thank you. Um, to everyone else, thank you so much for being here, for commenting below, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for donating to the channel, for scheduling readings with me. The information to everything will be in the description box below. I already posted um, uh, a fresh reading on Patreon, so definitely check it out. It was a beautiful message. So, um, all right, let's go. What's the energy here for Thursday, the 11th for the collective? Angels and spirit guides, are you guys feeling the shift? There's the, the, the eclipse, the effects of the eclipse is still happening, okay? There are still tower moments hitting people at this time. It's not just the day of the eclipse, family. It's three to six. The effects of the eclipse is going to take place weeks after. Uh, in three to six months, your life's going to be completely different. So again, we're still riding the wave. All right, what is the main energy here for the collective for Thursday, the 11th? Okay, so that's back. You guys saw how much I shuffled. We have um, Choose Love is back. The same, so we're in the same energy. We have number five here. So this is talking about a lot of heart chakra, simple acts of kindness, generosity, giving, and, and being kind comes from a heart chakra, a healing and opening. We have one more. Oh my God. Look at this. The union of hearts. I'm going to try to hold it still. So you guys can... read it let me move it back a little bit the union of hearts here oh it's still okay i'll just read it to you guys this is a love connection that defies explanation so okay this is what i'm getting with this this came out for a patreon as well i even posted in the community board at the bottom of the deck we have new love new love and it says, turn your heart light on. I can't make this stuff up. Love is all around you, family. Okay. Turn your heart light on. Somebody's trying to find their way home. Sharing and spreading your love. Okay. So huge, huge message here about 
reflect on a time when you experience love that's how you're going to feel those feelings of love pop up for you okay for you to feel those those, those memories of it could be experiencing memories of love okay so turn your heart light on then we have new love turn your heart light on it's at the bottom of the deck um embrace embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth so okay so this opening of the heart and the union of the heart lots of uh, the heart chakra healing and opening here okay turning your heart light on uh so it's looking like the if you have been doing um heart healing work heart chakra healing work meditating with archangel shamuel as we as spirit has been guiding us to um doing the forgiveness affirmations right and uh working with archangel Raphael and actually doing the actual work the work is working so you are uniting with this person that this love that defies explanation you're uniting with this person <clears throat> and through the heart space there is a you guys' hearts both of you guys' hearts is opening and, and leading each other back together okay um and with this new love here, you're finding a new passion, a new love for life again, for your family, for your community, for the things that you're doing, okay, in your work, passion projects, okay, so it's like, it's, it's, it's these fresh feelings of love, that's what this new love means, okay, I'm also getting um, someone that you already have, this connection that defies explanation, is choosing love. Is going to express acts of kindness. You are becoming the energy of what you want to attract. Like attacks, like attracts. Like if you want more love, be more loving. That came out yesterday. And this person is returning in a new form. Okay, so you are uh, healing from any kind of heartache and pain, letting go of resentment, and you know from from the from the from the betrayals from the disappointments and uh <clears throat> and uh you keep coming back to love here okay keep coming back to love see love in every situation ask yourself how can i see love in this situation um how can i bring love into this situation and keep coming back to love kindness energizes you and brings you happiness to those around you so lots of heart chakra healing here heart opening i'm getting Heart chakra energy all day. We got hearts here. Turn your heart light on there. So uh, very beautiful. We have number three, number five, ten again, eight, and nine. All right, let's see what else we got. I'm loving this. <clears throat> okay. Okay very beautiful oh i'm in my feels i'm in my feels so it's like new fresh energy new feelings of love for for in your community for your family for your friends in your environment in your work taking pleasure for yourself just like feeling really good feeling a lot of like like i was telling you when i first started the reading an overwhelming outpouring overwhelming feelings of love and that's what um, working with Archangel Shamuel has. Uh, every day I'm doing that meditation. And it's life changing. <laughs> it really is. You know, when you open your heart and you heal your heart, you it's also connected to your prosperity, your abundance, your money as well. Your heart's a magnet. So um, when you do this work, right, with Archangel Shamuel, and the heart chakra healing work and the forgiveness work it really does open you up to so much playfulness generosity childlike energy uh, wonder and awe here just just you know just feeling alive again i'm getting yeah feeling alive again look we're finally feeling the relief we're finally putting an end and leaving behind all of the old versions of ourselves we have death card here scorpio energy aquarius energy here moving towards relief moving on towards calmer waters leaving the past behind choosing love moving towards a new beginning that's the energy 
so I feel like you have been having a lot of memories and have been reminiscing and look noticing taking notice that love is all around you out in the world with your family with your friends with your community within yourself you had to you feel it within you first what you seek is already within you and turn you turning your heart light on so so you know the ones that um are meant for you the unconditionally accept unconditionally love you those that are um the ones that are genuine and authentic soul connections can find you your soul mates can find you all right What else can you tell me for Thursday the 11th? What's the message? We have here four cups that came out sideways. What else? Okay. So someone is coming out of this because they feel it. They feel the love that's being sent to them. Right here in the four cups. They feel the love that's all, all around them. They feel it, okay? It's a tele telepathy. It's like they feel this divine love. They're, they're sitting. This person is sitting. And it's actually lifting them up, waking them up, and getting them on the go, okay? Um, they're starting to feel the passion. Because you turned your heart light on, they're finding their way back home. That's, wow, it's very clear. This is somebody here that was sitting here in this depression energy of regret, missing opportunities. And you know what came to me? And we have the six of swords here. You know what came to me? Meditation. Something about fear. Because uh, it came to me how many um, people missed out, missed, mi misses out on opportunity, huge golden opportunities for big opportunities for love because of fear, because of the ego. Fear can really, um, mm, man, it can really, it, it can really affect uh, and restrict and limit so much of someone's life and their full potential of what they could, their dreams of being realized, right? I know a bunch of people that are un in unhappy marriages, settling, and, uh, and, and, and they had an opportunity for passionate, new, true love, new beginning in love. And because they're debilitating fear of their coming out of their comfort zone, um, they just chose to just stay in unhappy situations. Right? So this person here that has been sitting in apathy... That has been sitting in boredom and discontent, disillusion, missing opportunity. This is somebody that missed an opportunity from the refusing offers, refusing offers in depression, energy, frustrated, weariness in their life, just daydreaming and fantasizing, having nostalgia, um, boredom, discontent, <clears throat> depression, energy, not doing much, just not feeling fulfilled in their own life, monotonous routine, just you know, restless energy. Um, this person is, is, is waking up to the cup, waking up to the love, waking up here to what they're feeling around them. And finally going to grab the, the, the momentum. Okay. Could be here. Some good news is coming to this person. That's going to help them to move them forward. So somebody here that has been moving really, really slow is getting like this burst of energy, this burst of fire, passion. So um, the Knight of Pentacles, an energy of somebody that procrastinates, an overthinking person that's persevering, but it's also somebody that is reliable, that has a, a plan, that has a goal, and they are consistently committed to attaining and achieving that goal one day at a time one step at a time um this not this night this this horse is not moving they're preparing to move so it's like i got the the love that has been sent to me 
I feel it. It's overwhelming. It's so overwhelming that I can't sit in this boredom, apathy, discontent energy anymore. The love is all consuming and overwhelming me. Uh, you know, it's like this, um, somebody here that the, the page of the page of wands is 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 younger energy is an energy somebody that's just now beginning stages of feeling some kind of excitement they're finding the courage here trying to stay positive and um it's the pages ten, this page of wands tends to not finish what they start but connected to this knight of pentacles it's looking like <clears throat> it's looking like uh they're 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 back on the horse Let's get back on the horse. Tell me about this four. Let's clarify. Tell me about this four cups here, spirit. Ten of Pentacles. Didn't I say stuck, uh, uh, unhappy in their family environment? Unhappy in a marriage? Unhappy? There's so many people. So many people. Um, that are just, uh, settling in their life. Okay. It's like they have the money, the security, but they don't have the passion and the love, the unconditional love, the emotional satisfaction and emotional fulfillment. Um, I'm going to clarify this, but I don't know if this is what this person is daydreaming about, having this life here with you, the culmination, right? Reaching the, the end result. The Knight of Pentacles is the only one thinking about how to get there, only daydreaming and fantasizing about it, sitting there. Or, you know, this, this knight is the only one that gets to the Ten of Pentacles. Let's find out. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Cups here, please. Something about the home and family here. Because this Four of Cups represents cancer energy. <clears throat> Tell me about this uh, Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. Knight of Wands. Passion is being ignited for this person. They're feeling like uh, uh, if passion has been ignited, like a, uh, they're coming out of this period of overthinking, it's looking like. Quick decision. They're making this quick. It's going to be a quick decision for this person to hop on the wave when they feel the momentum coming. Okay. This is somebody here that does enjoy. It's like where they are. There's there, there's no. They're not being challenged to grow. Thanks. They're not being challenged to grow and evolve where they are. And this person here uh, thrives off of that, right? Off of a challenge. This person, you know, is 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 a kind of person that has a lot of sacral energy, a lot of sexual energy. Um, again, with the generosity, right? This is somebody that's very ambitious and it feels like whatever dynamic they have been in, they have been feeling stuck and stagnant. Uh, this is somebody here that has been focusing on the negative for a while. And now they, again, it's like a complete shift from because of this love that's coming to this person, this love that's being sent, this love that's being sent out, right? This, these memories, the love is all around you. These memories uh, of love reflect on a time where you experience love. So that's what this person could be doing, reflecting on a time where they felt this big love, this big passion. And it is um, pushing this person forward. <clears throat> it's pushing this person forward here. They, that's what they've been doing. They've been reflecting on this love, on this divine cup. And it's looking like they're, they're being asked to make a decision, to make a choice. This, it's not too late for this person is what I'm getting. I feel like this person's negative thinking, negative thinking has put them in a position where thinking that it's too late. Feeling like a self-imposed prison, stinking thinking too much. Okay, so um, tell me. Give me one on this. Uh, so the, these these reflection that this person is is feeling. Look, the lovers. I was just getting ready to clarify the Knight of Wands. 
and we have the lovers. We're talking about somebody that I don't know why I heard black sh black sheep rebellious person. Okay, that is very different than the 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 people that you know um, they grew up with, perhaps. So with the lovers, it's a major choice. And again, this person, quick decision, making a quick decision. Or maybe that's what this person did. They made a quick decision in the past from this knight energy, from this player energy, immature energy, right? Hasty, made a hasty decision. And they regret it because it was the wrong decision for our cups. They did not see, they weren't awakened. They did not, they, they were closed off emotionally. Their hands are, their arms are crossed, they were closed off emotionally to the cup, to the divine cup, emotionally unavailable, emotionally detached. They made a decision from lust, a hasty decision, a quick decision. This person is off to the next sexual adventure, the, off to the next shiny thing. <clears throat> and it was a, a, a very important decision uh, when it comes to true love here, okay, that they made. They probably rushed into a Ten of Pentacles with somebody here. And this is possibly what they're sitting in reflection about right now. Tell me about this lovers with this Knight of Wands here. It's like now they want to... Uh, tell me about this lovers. Gemini energy. Divine connection, Twin Flame. Tell me about this lovers. Queen of Cups. That could be the fem the divine feminine. That could be the divine feminine here. The cup, right? The cup they missed in the past. Oh, look. It is a divine counterpart. Look at the king of cups there. Moving away from a situation. Choosing a new, different direction. Making plans. So. So. The choice that this person is making now is they're making the choice based on, on, on sincere feelings, sincere love. This Queen of Cups has a lot of love, a lot, a lot of love. Okay. This is somebody that is nurturing an empath, right? Into the occult, the esoteric, maybe a psychic, intuitive, creative, very sensitive queen. Could be a mother as well. More cancer energy here. We have Sagittarius energy more than once as well. Double, double Sagittarius. So the, the Knight of Wands wants to now, you know, they, now they're reflecting on the past and they're reflecting on the present and they're reflecting on the future. There's a lot of daydreaming, a lot of fantasizing. Now this person wants to, they're being guided by this cup of love. They're seeing the cup. They're being guided, page of wands, to take this inspired action from a place of love and passion towards the queen. To come into union. Choosing love. This queen is in this energy of forgiveness. I did I did pick up on a lot of love, love uh, energy with the union of hearts. There's a union of hearts. I feel like whatever you, you have, you, your love that you have been, uh, healing from and <clears throat> activating within you, your love. Somebody wants to talk my throat. My, th my throat was not acting up all day until now. <clears throat> your love that you've been sending this person has been, you don't, you have no idea how much you have helped this person, uh, energetically, spiritually in the 5d. This forgiveness work that you're doing has been helping you guys to, to come into union in the heart space. Okay. And, <clears throat> and it's giving this person, it's helping this person on a soul level with their life force center. He's giving this person hope again. It's like you threw this person the key. You turned your heart light on. And now they're seeing the light, passion here, passion here. Okay, they're seeing the way forward. It's like you you helped this, you've been guiding and helping this person out of a very dark um, period or a very dark out of the underworld, I heard, with that death card, out of a six of swords, out of a very difficult situation. You probably don't even know this. 
But this love, this deep love that you feel for this person, very deep love that you feel, this love that's very unconditional, has been helping to heal this person in the 5D on the soul level. What else can you tell me about this page of wands here? Eight of Pentacles. So now, you know, they. Ha I feel like this person has been working on themselves. There's been a lot of patience here. Love is patient. Love is kind. Now they want to build and work on this, right? With you. Build from the bottom up. Build the... They want to put in the time, the energy, and the effort and stay consistent. This person is very dedicated and very committed here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Two cards of... This person has been thinking about how are we going to do this, right? Well, let me, fir let me first start with the action. So, <clears throat> this person wants to put in the work. They want to put in the work. Or you, okay? It's like, they know that it's going to take patience. It's going to take time with these two cards here. It's like... They're, I feel like this person is trying to tame themselves because they have a lot of fire and a lot of passion. I feel like they want it really badly. I, I just heard Spirit say, just because you want something so bad, right? Um, this person may also have gotten um, a, a job opportunity or good news when it comes to a job. They could be, again, waking up to their gifts you or, or somebody, their spiritual gifts and applying it mastering something mastering themselves they could be watching you fascinated by what your work what you're doing learning from you and applying it to their lives this is somebody here that is becoming a master and expertise at what they do by practicing repeating consistent committed disciplined dedicated right to reach success one pentacle at a time one day at a time this is somebody that's very focused very focused this person could be in sales or you could be in sales. This, this, or you or this person can have a job um, that you're serving, sharing your love out into the world. Look, there's a new passion here. Embrace an opportunity for loving your work. This is talking about work. So this person may have ideas for you that they want to help you with. They want to come in and contribute. This is somebody that's also a, a, a performer, a performer, an influencer. I have something to do with social media. They also see how successful you're becoming and how accomplished you're becoming, how ambitious you are. This person is very ambitious or you're very ambitious. I feel like when I see the lovers here, I'm seeing mirroring energy. That's what you guys could be focusing on right now is... <clears throat> growing your your business but when it comes to love this is somebody that's very passionate about you know putting in the work with you right i feel like you could be at work and this person may reach out to you while you're work when you're not when you're not looking when you're not looking when you're not looking when you're not paying attention or when you're not not when you're not paying attention when you're not like it's going to come out of the blue when you least expect it is what i'm saying can you give me one on this, one more on this page? Uh, I'm sorry, on this eight of pentacles here, spirit with this page of wands. A lot of success here when it comes to your work, family. This person could be watching. If you're on, again, public platform, if you're in the public eye, don't, both of these cards represent influencers, public speaker, performers, athletes, okay? So an inspirational teacher, inspirational coach. So, um... I'm getting that. For, yeah, look at this beautiful energy of abundance and luxury. Taking good care of yourself. Root chakra energy. Taking good care of your body. Um, enjoying the fruits of your labor. Enjoying your successes. Self-love energy. Um, financial independence here. Independent wealth. It's like there's progress here when it comes to your business and your work. It's growing. You're blooming and blossoming. You're blooming and blossoming. There's a glow up. There's a shine, a radiance to you. This is somebody here that's single, independent, that's very stable in their life. Receiving a lot of accolades, a lot of recognition, a lot of success. 
you have a, a, a great community, a great support system. Okay, this is all this card represents fame and celebrity status as well. That's where you're moving towards as you continue here. If you're not there yet. So this is somebody here that's on a pedestal being put in the spotlight that has a lot of this is somebody here that people look up to. As you can see, the people looking up to this person on the horse. This person is very inspirational. The, whoever this this wow overflow of love like i said overflow of love overflow of love a lot that's what happens when you work on your heart chakra okay and you heal your heart and you open your heart and you keep doing the work every day you attract in a lot of abundance this represents a lot of abundance okay new love when it comes like new for, again new love for life New love for life. There's excitement, enthusiasm. There's a burst of energy and vitality here for somebody. And I feel like you're inspiring this person out of this apathy energy. Your dedication, your commitment, your your discipline, your your working on yourself, right? So. Yeah, I feel like um, there's good news here coming your way. A, a, exciting news. That actually came out also for for um, uh, Patreon. Yeah, this person may have just sneaked away out of your life. It's like there's more than meets the eye here because of healing. They're healing. And this healing is, is changing the course of someone's life. Your love, this love is, is a life-changing love. So you're, I, I heard Spirit say you're just getting started. It feels like, like you're in a feeling, you're feeling really good here. Your heart light is turned on. Your heart light is turned on. And you're feeling really good in this beautiful energy of stability, prosperity, and wealth, abundance. This, somebody got the key to the vault of the bank of heaven. Somebody's on heaven's payroll. Collecting or invest, thriving in your business. Your business is thriving here because you're turning your heart, your share. This is a labor of love. You're in your purpose. You're in your divine assignment. Somebody is sharing and spread, spreading a lot of love and light into the world. And it's being with kindness, with kindness and, and pure intentions. And it's being returned to this person. I'll just guide it to another deck. Hold on, let me find it. Yeah, wow. Beautiful energy. I want to clarify um, this nine of pentacles person. I don't have to, but I want to. Tell me about this nine of pentacles person here. This uh, independent, well, taking very good care of yourself, good skin care, nice clothes. You probably got new wardrobe. This is you going to the gym, eating good food, you know, uh, drinking your, your, eating your vitamins, drinking your smoothies, feeling good, looking good, smelling good, feeling light. Like again, new passion, new love for life. You're getting, you know, rewards and recognition for being for your for your work look responsibility tell me about this nine of pentacles taking responsibility for your own life for your own energy tell me about this nine of pentacles um person clarify oh that card fell on the floor integrity upper that's why elevation elevation integrity yeah this person is operating from purity and innocence from the pure intentions of their heart you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Yeah, that's what's happening here. This person, this nine of pentacles person, there's progress, there's growth, there's movement. There's, it's slow uh, with the, it's patience, right? I feel like it's taking you, if you're the nine of pentacles person, it's taking you a very long time to get here to this space. A lot of self-love. And this love helped to, to transform and heal and change everything. Somebody's in finally mastered self-love, self-worth. 
finally in this energy of deserving. It's crazy because I was talking to my young my youngest son called today. <laughs> he he my my kids are um very well aware of my gifts. And my kids were there when I man when I manifested and prayed for my oldest son to a to I called in my oldest son soulmate. And uh, my youngest son, he's a Scorpio, and he said, "Can you call me my soulmate?" And and then he said, "Every girl I meet, he's like, I told my friends that I know that it's you doing it. You 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 you're 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 blocking and stopping every girl that I meet." I, you know, because you, you, you're saying that I'm not ready, right? <laughs> I told him, I said, when you meet the one at the wrong time, it can really lead to a lot of heartbreak. He's, um, he's on a scholarship for, to become an engineer and he's a uh, very busy with school and with, with work and the gym and, and, and things like that. So I told him, I said, when you're ready, I will call her in for you. And then we were, and then somehow the conversation went to me and, and true love and, and marriage. And, and I was telling him, I said, I, I just because I, I got it wrong the first time around, it doesn't mean that I gave up on my dream of, you know, of, uh, of true of, of attracting in and manifesting true love for myself in this lifetime. Now that I feel worthy and deserving of it. I am. And I told him, I said, I'm deserving of it. And I am worthy of it. Everyone is worthy and deserving of true love. And, um, and that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing somebody here finally fully in their deserving energy, which takes a long time to be in, to get to a long journey. Not only are you in this beautiful energy of deserving this overflow outpouring of love, uh, love is all around you. Uh, lots of love coming from your heart space. Um, not only are you deserving of that, you are also deserving of this success that you're getting in your career. Some people really are afraid of success, right? Some people are scared of it also. And you have been mastering yourself, mastering your craft, working one day at a time, one pinnacle at a time. It's looking like this energy is all about you. Whoever is this person that is in love with themselves. And because you are doing it from a place of morals, values, integrities, pure intentions, right? Honest work. You didn't, you didn't, uh, skip lines. You didn't, uh, get shortcuts. You didn't, you know, uh, bypass anything. You know, loopholes. You did the work, the healing work, the inner work, the outer work, the to transform, to heal from your traumas, your woundings, your inner, your codependencies, your addictions. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo, bravo, bravo. It took uh, a very long time to get here. And you're finally here. <clears throat> and then we have elevation. You are making the conscious decisions to raise your vibration of love. You alchemize, you're quite the alchemist. You alchemize this energy to be, to, you know, you transformed your alchemist from fear into love. That's how we got to this place. And that's not easy to do. You, you know, you, you learn how to work with energy. You learn that everything is energy. You're in charge and control of your energy. And, and it was a lot of sacrifices, a lot of uh, protecting your energy, a lot of cleansing your energy, coming back to alignment, coming back to balance, right? A lot of uh, <clears throat> isolation, self-care. The self-love journey is long and lengthy. So it's your vibration has been rising to the vibration of love. Now you're elevating. Yes. And action here at the bottom of the deck. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of the soul. And you're at, yeah, you're a speaker. It's like, he, this is, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. For whoever this is. Okay, so you have been getting your, you've been focusing on you, focusing on your own happiness. And because of that, that's why, that's when this is coming in here for you. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. I got that feeling today. It feels really good in my heart chakra. Like I feel a lot of love. I feel like you have been transforming and alchemizing any kind of resentment or pains from the past. 
been calling soul retrieval, calling your energy back. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles here. We have um, the Strength card, Leo energy. And what I, I heard a couple, that's why I went quiet, because I heard a couple of things at, at once. <laughs> Spirit. I heard um, brave heart, have the heart of a lion, which is filled with courage, bravery, and compassion. Having a lot of discipline here, a lot of self-control, a lot of willpower, okay? And um, I feel like, and a lot of patience. It has taken a lot of strength. I feel like there's a surrendering, a letting go of, your ego's timing, letting go of, letting the, you know, surrendering to the timing of the universe, right? And trusting it. There's a lot of faith here. There's a lot of trust. Strength begins with the choice to be kind to myself. Simple acts of kindness. It lights you up. It really does. And it's like you're taken care of by God source the universe. Look at that. Two of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like... Yeah. So this is somebody here in your energy that is in the process of also trying to figure out how to alchemize the energy, okay? How to quiet their thoughts. This is somebody that that has that's very nervous, that needs to have the courage here to reach out to you. I'm getting... This offer is coming into you. Somebody has you on a pedestal as well. They look up to you. They admire you. There's a little bit of an intimidation here. I, I heard feeling good enough. So this two of cups under that. So this is what this. So that's what this is. Somebody needed to have the courage to take the next step, family. To take the next step. You're, whoever this is, is doing incredible over here. And then we have this two of cups, right? Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. For love. Coming together. Coming into union. It's like, it's like this. It's like this person, once you do come into union, it's like spiritually your heart, the union of hearts is happening already. Interesting because Leo rules the heart, represents the heart space. It's fifth house of playfulness and childlike energy. So I'm getting, you're definitely meeting this person in the heart space, right? They're getting the love you're sending them, which is uh, igniting their fire, igniting their passion. Definitely getting the love you're sending them with the queen of cups here and the lovers. I'm not going to hold up the lovers. So I don't have stickers on there. <clears throat> and again, this part, while you're over here glowing and shining and booming and elevating and doing you shining your heart light and all of that, this person here is struggling. They're struggling because they're in resistance energy. You know, it's not yours to carry. It's not yours to carry. I want to get a message from this deck. I was guided to this deck. We have abundance. Divine beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle of abundance. That's this person here in the nine of pentacles. Lot, this cup is a cup of not only that, your spiritual gifts and your psychic abilities is also enhancing at this time. You're, all this self-love, all this beautiful uh, self-love that you have been giving yourself has, uh, wow, changed everything in this dynamic. So when this person does finally come in, they're going to be consistent. It's going to be slow. They're going to make ded dedicated effort towards you. Right now, the union that you guys are having is in the heart space, right? which is beautiful. That's still really good. It starts there in the 5D. This person's feeling the love. That's why they're so trust because it's a manifestation. Okay. It's like this person's ongoing uh, ang anxious thoughts. That's because this person may be a, a person that tends to with the, the, the strength there tends to control things. 
especially with this knight of knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is not moving this is somebody that's very controlling what else is the message here for the collective for thursday the 11th self-acceptance yes 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 if i could do the yes dance right now nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself when you offer your whole right here when you offer your whole being fully to love which is what you're doing self-acceptance arises in spontane spontaneously so aligning with unconditional love and unconditional self-acceptance may i rest in our oneness dear divine so self the self-acceptance here that you're that you're you know mastering becoming ascending into elevating into is bringing in a lot of abundance for you because abundance comes from a heart chakra opening yes it does yes it does um i don't need this this deck anymore It feels like this Knight of Pentacles is 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 uh, somebody in your energy. I feel like that could be your movement also when it comes to your work. You're taking it one day at a time, one step at a time. You know, you're ascending slowly. It's like you're progressing. You're making progress in your work. We're going from the Eight to the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. That's progress. success here at the bottom of the deck a lot of success a lot of success embrace embrace the, these this new feelings of love for your work um and for your spiritual growth here we have the queen of wands here for sharing sharing your love sharing your light sharing sharing your abundance look she's the her light see her light radiance sharing your radiance I was just getting ready. Look, transformation, a huge transformation, death card. Can you please uh, tell me about, be, stay open to receiving. Lots of healing taking place right now. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles here. I'm loving this energy. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Totality. Yeah, this is the Five of Wands. That's the five of wands energy guidance three of pentacles so this person is getting guidance okay either within or without the totality that could be all of the the five of wands is the totality that could be like all of these uh outside interference right that's slowing this person down and in, in their movements here towards their happiness and their joy i feel like you taking your energy back is a huge trigger for this person you're taking your power back Tell me more about this uh, uh, Knight of Pentacles. Can I find this Knight of Pentacles here? Maturity. Maturity. Why do I feel like that's the Ace of Pentacles? Growing up, maturing here, making uh, not hasty decisions, making better decisions for healthier decisions growing up, right? We talked about that in yesterday's reading and flowering. With the queen of pentacles here flowering maturing growing ascending slowly leaving all of the look the fool taking a leap of faith and then we have here temperance card integration the yin and the yang coming into harmony and to balance within right this is also your divine counterpart energy again the meeting of hearts so keep doing what you're doing keep doing what you're doing here clarify this uh two of cups please spirit clarify this two of cups Clarify this too. I don't know how long that person is going to be able to, you know, stay in. The Nine of Swords energy is, is a passing energy. It's a fleeting energy. It's not lasting. I don't know how long this person is going to be guided here to 
how long they're going to resist and refuse the guidance. They're going to overthink it and control it, them, control themselves sick. This person has a tendency of having anxiety. Tell me about this two of cups. This love is so strong with the strength card. It's so deep. There's a devotion here and a loyal heart. Tell me about this two of cups. That actually flipped. It was at the bottom of the deck, and now it actually flipped. <sighs> so stressed out about this fear. Th so what's keeping this from coming into union? Is fear. This person is a lot of fear, anxiety, terror, being haunted. Negativity, deep unhappiness. Okay. Stress and burden, overwhelmed. This person is at a breaking point here. Inability to cope or face life. Mental anguish, mental health issues, guilt, regret, remorse. Focusing on the past, focusing on the future. Too much gossip. Yeah, they, 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 they miss you deeply, this person. They want to talk. Totality. So. They, it's like the love that they're haunted by this love. It's like they, they can't, they're, it's obsessive thinking. They can't stop thinking about you. Why is this person saying the nine of swords? Tell me more about this nine of swords, please, spirit. They're afraid of this. They're afraid of this. They're afraid of getting hurt. They're getting a heart shock or opening and awakening. They're in pain. It's like they they want their it's like this. It's like we're, that's night and day. This is somebody that's been in the dark night. It's like this. It's like the sun represents positivity and freedom. It's like they want their freedom. They want this happiness. They could be afraid of happiness. The light could be very different for this person. It's not familiar for this person. It's like you are this person's light that's guiding them. There's sunshine. This is a white horse that's freedom to break this person free. It feels like this person is going to come out of this very soon. Again, two cards of Leo energy is here. Two cards of confidence. Vitality. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm here. Happiness. Truth. Openness. Self-expression. The, the, the sun is growth, success, vitality, health. Somebody's health improving. Somebody's health improving. The three of swords is, you know, again, it's like the, 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 the meeting of the heart here that's taking place. Somebody's heart is being cracked open and healing. That's what it is. You're, you're already kind of there. And now this person's heart is, is, is healing at this time. This is a card. The sun is a huge yes. It's a card of, you know, heart opening and happiness and playfulness and childlike inner child healing. Yeah, look at the five of swords. This person has a lot of regret. It's like now they're seeing, they're face palming because they're seeing that you're their light. You're their sunshine. They're seeing the truth. They're seeing things clearly and it's stressing them out. This person, again, could be afraid of, uh, and the anxiety could be of happiness, afraid of success. I talked about that. Is this person having a hard time thinking about thinking positive thoughts? They have a brand new beginning. But they're, we're talking about this king of cups stuck in their head. Feeling trapped. Uh, the self-imposed prison. Feeling restricted, like they're backed into a corner, like their hands are tied. They're not. It's they have they're in their free will, their solutions. This person could be, you know, somebody that has a lot of emotional scars. They could be f f playing the victim card or feeling like a victim, feeling like they're paralyzed by fear, helpless and hopeless, powerless, silenced. You know. Uh, so they have a, this pat, a passion, passion, passion. This spark. But again, with the three swords here in the heart, this person is still healing from their heart chakra. So it's like you're fully open. 
Your heart's open. Your heart light is turned on for this person to find their way. Look, your heart light is turned on. And, uh, and you're ready. But this person feels like this person needs a little bit more time. That's why the patience card is here while you still focus on yourself. Uh, the three of swords is when you have a heart chakra imbalance, family, we're not in a very generous, giving, kind, kind energy. We're closed off. We're emotionally unavailable. We're closed off. We're emotionally unavailable. We're, you know, uh, afraid of intimacy, deeper intimacy of connecting. We're emotionally detached, you know. There's a, a uh, but look, that's going to change because this is a card of happiness and recovery and healing. So with the three of swords, it's like heartache, pain, sadness, division, separation, depression, removal, absence, betrayal, loneliness, sorrow, disorder, confusion, dis distractions, loss, ill health, conflict, disillusionment, hopelessness, helplessness. It's like. When your heart is broken, you are depressed. You are shut out. You are in isolation. You're not, um, your heart's a magnet. I feel like this, this person is feeling the love that you're, your, your love that you're sending them right here. You got the connecting in the heart space. And that's what's creating the anxiety is because it's like they want, to free themselves from whatever is this 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 uh, entrapment feeling that they feel that they're in. They're having a lot of anxiety. It's like this, why am I like this? I heard this person asking themselves, face palming, why am I like this? Why do I keep sabotaging? Why am I holding back from what I pray for and what I want in my life? My happiness. You are this person's complete and total sunshine. Uh, a, a, a blocked heart chakra carries a lot of resentment. A lot of anger, a lot of bitterness, unforgiveness, lack of compassion, lack of generosity and kindness. That's the opposite energy of what you're in. So it's not going to be a match if this person comes back with a closed heart chakra. So that's why it's important that we, you know, wait uh, patiently while focus. I wouldn't say wait for this person, but keep moving on and forward with your life keep focusing on 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 your own happiness and what you're building what you're creating look i told you takes time needs time in time cycles time to heal and progress can you please clarify this nine of swords person that's why this person was in the knight of pentacle no, i'm sorry knight of wands energy here because of a closed, uh, immature, um, emotionally stunted, closed heart chakra. Can you please clarify this nine of swords person? So, okay. Yeah. That's why the sun clarified it. Clarity, truth, revelation. That's what's stressing them out. It was revealed to them that you're their soulmate to inflame whatever label. Um, so clarity, truth, revelation. That's what they're getting. And that's. Look, heart with the key. They they are awakened to the fact that you're the one for them. Open your heart. <laughs> you're the only one that has the key to this person's heart. You're the puzzle piece. Getting together. Welcoming love in. Meeting the one. This person could just be really scared and really nervous of this next move. and making this approach, right? So tell me more. Tell me about this three of swords. Talking, conversing, waited message arrives. It's like breaking. It's this person's in pain being away from you. They want to talk to you. You, you're the only one with the key to this. Part. Yeah, the keys. All these keys, all these options. String along, string along. Knight of of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, but it's like all of these keys, but there's only one key that unlocks this person's heart. And you did it. You unlocked this person's heart. This player energy person. Because you're you're their person, right? You're their, their soulmate. You're their, the lovers and the... The lovers and the... <clears throat> feels like this person has to make a decision. Hammer. They want to rebuild. 
and fix this working on it. Okay. All right. So let me get, um, yeah, you're sharing your beautiful gifts. You're going through this huge level up, this huge glow up, huge transformation. Let's talk about this glow up. Let's talk about this radiance, this beautiful energy you're in here. Queen of Wands, the self-acceptance energy, inner child healing energy that you're doing here. I feel like you're not really focused on what's going on with this person. I think you're just letting them figure it out. Like, that's what it looks like. Yeah, you're sending them love, which is beautiful energy to be in. You're sending them love and light and healing energy and prayers. Like, you know, I'm sure one day, sir, ma'am, you're going to figure this out. I'm sure one day you're going to awaken, evolve, heal, ascend, stop sabotaging, stop running. You know, I feel like literally I, I, that's not what I, I'm getting today, Thursday. Maybe that's just the, the shift from the eclipse. That maybe what it, what it got eclipsed out of you was this, uh, whatever was still left in your heart that needed to leave to free you from this past pain, from the betrayals to really, it's like this. It's like once, uh, I get my, my powers from the eclipse, it's over for you guys, right? It's over for everybody. Once... <laughs> Once my heart heals, once your heart heals, there's no stopping you from moving on and moving forward with your life. There's no slowing you down. No one can slow you down. No one can stop you. Once your heart is open, once your heart heals, it's like you're in this fully acceptance energy of what it is, what it is, what, what will come, will come, what will go, will go with this letting go energy, let this, let this beautiful letting go energy here, which is helping you to elevate because you're not anchored, attached to anything from the past anymore. So this, uh, I'm sorry, I keep coming back to this because I'm, this is huge. It's like, it's like you fully accepted. Okay. This is what I'm getting. I'm like still caught up in this row here. You fully accepted, um, that you have this, you're on this journey with this person. You got the memo. You got, you know, it's like, not only do you get the memo, you got, you, you got the assignment, right? You're fully aware and awakened to it. If you are feeling really good in your own energy, uh, post eclipse is looking really good for you because you followed your guidance that you were guided to do from the God source, the universe, spirit guides. Um, I'm getting somebody here that fully accepts the connection, fully accepts that, okay, this is going to be the love of my life. I'm going to love this person forever. I'm always going to be connected to this person, but I'm not letting this person hold me back, hold me down. Uh, my heart's healed. I forgive this person. I'm freed from that attachment. I'm freed from that weight. I'm free from, you know, the pains. Of, I'm focusing on the new love that I have for my career, my purpose, my community, my friends, my family you know, and, um, and it is what it is. What, what's for me will be for me and won't pass me by. If this person comes and, and you know, if I'm still available, we will, um, because there's definitely a cup coming your way <laughs> for new love. Okay. There's a new opportunity coming your way. Um, by the way, so it's like, you're finally shedding the, the layers and, and releasing and letting go. And, uh, uh, well, hello, let's talk about this glow up. Let's talk about this level up. Let's talk about this uh, beautiful radiant energy that you're in. Uh, it's like, I'm fine if this person does. I'm fine if this person doesn't. You know, I've fully accepted everything, the journey. I made peace with the past. I made peace with it all. I'm just really focused on my, my own energy, my, my own happiness, my self-love. I'm not looking if, if whatever comes my way, comes my way. I'll be open to receiving when it comes, you know, and a matter of fact, where's that deck? Can you please clarify this nine of pentacles person here? So I can't make this stuff up. Self-indulgence, uh, focus on self-worth, healing, shadow work, self-appreciation. Come on. This is the energy. It's the energy. Energy doesn't lie, family. That's the energy of, 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 of self-love. The energy of you're just really shining, shining so brightly. You're just really shining your light of self-love. And maybe that's what's triggering this person. Maybe that's what's stressing this person out. This person wanted to treat you as an option, put you as an option. 
you know, this person here is waking up to who you are now and now they have to make a decision on what to do. Otherwise, they're going to miss the boat. They're going to miss their opportunity here with you. You fully accept the fact, you accept everything, family. You accept it all. You're in forgiveness energy. You're in elevation energy. You're in integrity, the energy of integrity. For you, you're only going to accept people in your life. Look, kisses. You got people like liking you here. Girl talk, spending time with friends, giving and receiving affection, unconditionally loving, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Come on. I can't make this stuff up. And, um, and yeah, again, it, you, it's, it, this is a complete release. A letting go. That's what this is. I'm very proud of whoever's in this beautiful energy, by the way. We have been walking each other home here, working, uh, together on this energy. It's like the energy is released from you. You release the energy. And when you release the energy, here comes the outpouring of abundance. Love is all around you. Where was that? Love is all around you. Love is coming, flying in, flying in in all directions from everywhere, from every angle. New opportunities coming in for you. Okay. So, uh, it's like the second you release the energy, this person feels it, but they do feel the love you're sending them in the heart area. That's what's healing this person and waking this person up. This person right now is feeling the pressure of, you know, they, they're feeling the, 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 the disconnect. It's like energetically, you're no longer attached. Energetically, you're no longer in lack. Energetically, you're no longer chasing. Energetically, you're, you freed yourself from the agony, the pain, the grief, the suffering, the longing, the missing, the yearning. And you fall, f become whole and complete on your own. And you fell deeply in love with yourself. You're falling deeply in love with yourself. Deeply in love with your passion, your purpose, your career, your life. I can't emphasize this enough. How important this is. And how this is the key aspect of this journey. Of this twin flame journey. This is what you're needing to get to. To, to ever come into union to begin with. With uh, any soulmate or this 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 divine counterpart of yours so wow let me go ahead and pull from this deck i'm still you know look i can't make this stuff up energetic clearing and letting go a inner power wow wow this is all about you everything every it's like this it's like this person is slowly fading away phasing away did i hear that correctly spirit Everything is, it's like this, this person just took too long. They play too many games. I feel like you were supposed to really get to this energy anyway, all while on this journey. And it's like, you're ready, right? You're like super ready for this cup to come your way. For this opportunity, for this new beginning, for this new love. Some of you guys could be moving on to new love. I, I see that here. So you're ready is what I'm getting to, what I'm getting at. Oh my God, with these cards. So we have letting go. Everything is, in, when you let go, family. Oh my God, I can't say this enough. When you let go, <laughs> that's when everything starts coming in. Okay, all the manifestations. Everything is indeed out of, out of, everything is indeed out of control. And God will hold it all. I can safely let go. I can safely let go. Energetic clearing. During crisis, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments. I can't make this stuff up. Preparing you to receive her luminous plan. Oh my God. Excuse me. Excuse me, beautiful ones. Divine goddesses and gods. Whoever is the one here that's uh, in this incredible energy of self-love, self-worth. This is the vibration. This is the energy of union. Okay? I started the reading picking up on that. So if you guys want, I can post the letting go affirmations that I've been listening to on the in, on the community board. I'll just go ahead and do it. <laughs> Gonna have one more. Family for the collective. True offering and companionship. True offering takes what, what can be an un unbearable cross. Which is what you guys, which is what has been the energy, right? 
True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. This is that uh, energy that I was telling you guys about that you guys have been transmuting and alchemizing. Yes, beautiful job. Beautiful job, um, uh, family. We have companionship, two elephants here. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. So get ready. Get ready because uh, you're getting some kind of companionship coming in here for you now that you've mastered this uh, emotional independence and with self-love and physical independence and you're in, in mastered how to be in love in your own life, in your own energy, found contentment in present moment energy that you're in, healing energy. Wow. And then we have faith miraculously amazingly everything i need always comes love is opening me to receive beyond anything i can imagine and that's the truth that's what we're seeing here congratulations wow i'm loving this let's keep this momentum going let's hold the focus right and uh, stay grounded maintain hold the frequency hold the vision and uh, stay, keep doing what you're doing. It's working. I love you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for this beautiful energy. I'm just, oh, I can't even. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I love you guys. God bless you. And namaste. Namaste, family. Much love. Until next time.